Hello and welcome to the Test Sensor channel. Today we are going to have a look at the Hyman Smart Smoke Sensor where I'll cover the review and installation. Every house has them or should have them, smoke sensors. They are widely available in different sizes and are affordable. But what if you want a smoke sensor which can trigger other things to be implemented in your smart home? After doing my research, I pulled the trigger and bought this smart smoke sensor from Heyman on AliExpress.com for around 29 euros. Let's open the box to see what's inside. Inside the box you'll find the smart smoke sensor, a small bag with mounting screws, plug and pin, and a user manual. There are no separate batteries as they are already installed in the sensor. Before we install this smart smoke sensor, let's take a closer look at its features. The sensor is tiny as it has a height of just 5 cm and a width of 6 cm. It can detect smoke and fire particles. This does not include CO2. When there is a detection, it will alert you visually and with a siren that has a volume of 85 decibels. As for battery life, the included battery has an expected lifetime of 3 years, which is pretty impressive for a smart smoke sensor. If the battery level is low, and it will alert you. On the bottom of the sensor there is an adhesive pad that allows you to install it without the use of screws. The smart smoke sensor uses ZigBee 3.0 connectivity, which means it can be used with Home Assistant if your setup has a ZigBee stick active. You also see the yellow plastic thing which separates the battery from the device. Remove it to activate the smoke sensor. If you need to replace the battery, you can do this by turning the base to the left and you'll see the battery. Now that we know the features, it's time to set up the smart smoke sensor. To test the alarm, all you have to do is push the transparent button and you'll hear a test beep. The installation process is simple and straightforward. I will be installing the sensor with the adhesive pad on the bottom. You pull off the sticker and just paste the sensor where you want it installed. If the surface is uneven or has a pattern, it is recommended to use the screws instead. To add this device to Home Assistant, you need to have the ZigBee to MQTT add-on installed. If you don't know how to do this, I will create a tutorial video soon. Firstly, log in to Home Assistant and go to the ZigBee to MQTT page, which you can also find in the My Add-ons page. Then click on Permit Join All to allow Home Assistant to search for new devices. Go to your smart smoke sensor with a hairpin or DuPont cable and press the hidden button that's inside the device for 2 seconds so that it will flash green. You can find a small hole to the left side of the big transparent button. Now the smoke sensor is in pairing mode and will be visible in Home Assistant as you can see. Give it a couple of seconds to receive all the data.
I'll rename it to something more obvious. Now that the device has been added, it's time to use it with Home Assistant. Go back to the overview page, click the three dots on the top right and click on edit dashboard. Click on the add card button and search for the smart smoke sensor by entity. You can see the battery level and current status of the smoke sensor. Click on Add to Dashboard to finish. The Smart Smoke Sensor has now been added to the dashboard and you can see the current status. This can be used to trigger certain events and more with Home Assistant. If you have any questions feel free to drop a comment below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.